Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Coffee and Lore. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I have been reading my butt off for you guys, and I'm super excited to talk about some of the stuff that I've been reading. Sorry we only had one video last week. I did my best when I was all alone to get everything posted, but I've got my help back from Michigan, and I've got my help back from work, and I'm super excited to give you guys lots of content coming forward. So, what are we talking about today? Well, I promised you guys in the last video, we were going to do some Nora Roberts trilogies and series because I am a huge Nora Roberts fan. Like, I don't know very many women who like historical romance that are not Nora Roberts fans. Like, that's where you began. That was the first thing that got you kind of introduced, usually. So, today we're talking about the Cousin O'Dwyer's series. Probably one of my top five favorite Nora Roberts trilogies. Like, outstanding storytelling, outstanding depth to characters. Absolutely love the Cousin O'Dwyer series. So there's three books. It's a trilogy. The first book is Dark Witch, then Shadow Spell, then Blood Magic. So there is some magic in these books, in this trilogy, which I really, really enjoyed a lot. So... I'm super excited. Okay, I love this trilogy, you guys. It's fantastic. So we are introduced to Iana Sh If I don't say these names right, y'all, these are. I it takes place in County Mayo, Ireland. So some of these names are Irish, and, and I'm probably going to jack them up. But we have Iana Sheehan, who is like our main heroine that we are first introduced to. And she was kind of geared towards magic by her nan who has since passed on and she goes home to County Mayo, Ireland where her name was from and where she has family, her cousins, to kind of rekindle that relationship with Nan who's passed on and to figure out some things in her own family and her own life. There she hooks back up with her two cousins, their brother and sister, and that's Branna and Connor O'Dwyer. That's the name of the book's cousin O'Dwyer. So each book is kind of how they're defeating this dark magic, this dark force, as well as they're finding love. Um, and the first book focuses on Iana and the owner of the stables where she works. And that is going to be Boyle McGrath. Boyle is, I'm pretty sure, how you say his first name. And he's like this cowboy, this tough guy, and Iana falls for him. And it's a beautiful story. And they're also, like I said, kind of fighting this dark magic force. And then book two, which is Shadow Spell, um, kind of focuses more on Branna and, um, no, I'm sorry, Connor. Book two is going to be Connor's with Branna's best friend from childhood, who, who obviously Connor, that means, has known since childhood. And her name is Mira. Mira Quinn, to be exact. I have my notes down here if you see me looking down. So Connor and Mira Quinn is probably my favorite story from this trilogy. I love them because they've known each other forever. Though Branna and Finn have known each other forever too, but they've got so much. You have to get into the depth of the book and understand the magic aspects to understand why Branna and Finn don't want to be together. Um, they're their magics don't mix well together, kind of. It's a, it's a lot to explain, and we're not going to give the, all the books away because I want you guys to read this trilogy. Like, if you read any trilogy by Nora Roberts this year and you haven't read the Cousin O'Dwyer trilogy, read it. Like I said, the third book is Blood Magic, and it kind of covers Branna and um, Finbar Burke, who we go, he goes by Finn, and they also have a lot of history. And there's a lot of mixing of magics and, and reasons why they don't want to be together because it's not, not necessarily good for their, their power of magic. So it's a lot. There's a lot of history for the family in these books. There's a lot of magical stuff in these books. Um, good magic versus bad magic. There's a lot of, if you like books that take place in Ireland because of like the beauty of the nature, you've got some of that in there too. So I love this series. Like I said, if you read a Nora Roberts trilogy this year, read The Cousin So Dwyer. It's really, really well done and really, really good. Um, on another note, what am I currently reading? Well, I've got a ton of books on my Kindle that I'm kind of pulling at. 
um, flipping through which one. I'm probably going to do Honestly Firefly Lane next just because I so, I keep saying that, but I so much enjoyed Kristen Hanna's first book that I read. Um, also, I was going to tell you about um, a new book that I purchased. And I might have to hit you on the next video with that one because I cannot think of it right now. I know I purchased the new J.R. Ward. Um, normally I eat J.R. Ward books as soon as they come out, but this one doesn't have to do with one of the main core brothers. So I, I like my core main brothers or the sub series with the trainees. I like the trainee series as well from J.R. Ward and the Black Dagger Brotherhood, but. Um, I digress. Oh, I've been doing a lot of classics, and I'm probably going to do a video on some of my favorite classics here um, soon. Just because last week was such a hard week, I was reading a lot of the Chronicles of Narnia, Little House on the Prairie. I'm going to do a whole video for you guys on some of my favorite classics. But on that note, please let me know, what are you guys reading?